All right, guys, today we're just going to do a little practice audiobook. So, our first step is to create a new project in Reaper. Control N, save changes to any project you had if you want to. We've got a fresh project right here. I'm going to insert three tracks. I could double click here three times, or I could use Control T and make those tracks. I'm going to give those tracks a name. My first track is going to be called Narration. Second track, SFX for sound effects. Third track, BGM for background music. I'm going to arm the narration track. That's going to be the first channel I'll record on. I'm just going to go up to my sound audio settings in Reaper and just confirm that the input and output devices are where I want them. I'm going to record through this Rode NT-USB mic and I've currently got it set to playback through the headphone jack of that device. That's what I want. Okay. Now I'm looking here, since I've armed that device, you can see that the audio is coming in at a pretty good level. The average is pretty much at minus 18. You got a few peaks above that, but even when I get excited, it only went up to minus 4.1. It didn't peak out and clip there. So I'm happy with that. But just a reminder, if you need to change the volume, you can come down to Windows button, type in sound, jump to sound settings. In fact, just refer back to this previous video linked here. I am just going to do a little test recording. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the water spout. And I'm quite happy with that. You notice the distance I am from my mic is around about that hang 10 sort of distance. Good for a condenser mic. And at that distance, I have the correct input gain. So I'm good to go. My next step, I've chosen to do Incy Wincy Spider as my practice audiobook. Uh, so I'll just hit record. Control R, by the way, is the shortcut for that. Or, of course, you can just click on the record button. Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried out all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. And let's have a listen back to it. Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried out all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. All right, I'm relatively happy with that as my little practice recording. I did notice some breath noises. Even though I can't see them, I certainly heard them. One thing I'm going to do is disarm the track. Uh, you'll notice now that the LED is following my voice. Even when I'm playing back, Incy it's actually spider. Went up the water spout. check. The LED is not reflecting the playback. It's reflecting the new sounds of the microphone. So disarm it. Suddenly the LED is not responding to my voice but it will give us more of a reflection of what sound is being produced. Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain. Did you see that breath noise was around about minus 42 decibels? We could use a gate plugin to try and uh, only allow things sort of above 30-ish to come through, but that's something we might try in the future. Today, I actually want to just practice our splitting skills. So what I'm going to do is hide the mixer. I'm going to hit the X down here on the mixer, I'm also going to hide my virtual keyboard. If I want the mixer back, I just hit Control M to toggle the mixer. Or if you forget that shortcut, View Mixer. All right, so the reason I'm hiding it, it gives me more real estate. I'm zooming in with Page Up. And then I'll come in up to my track one. And now I can actually see those little noises, breath noises and stuff. Now I tried to click here before that breath, but it's locking in like a magnet on the beats of the bar. How do I stop that happening? That's right, I turn off snap. Then I can actually click a little bit more precisely. It doesn't have to line up with the beats. I'm gonna split this audio. How do I do that? S for split. Next I wanna trim the edge of this audio just so it's a bit closer to my actual phrases. I can trim this back a bit, but I don't wanna miss the T in spout. spout. Down. That's good enough as it is. I've got a bit of noise at the start of my recording. I'm going to trim that off using the trim tool. Put a little fade on, fade in there. Oops, my bad. Hit the fade. Let's have a listen. Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the some breath noises. So after the T of out, I'll split and I can trim across 
or I could just split again. What's that little noise? Out came the sun. I'm not sure what the why there's a few little pops there before out. So I'm actually going to come in. Out came the sun. And I'm going to split it there and I can delete that junk. Out came the sunshine and dried out all the rain. So in, hear that breath. Split it just after the breath. I can trim it back. If I want to trim it, make sure it's not just going to move the location of the split when it's that double icon. We want to actually be the single icon when we're trimming. All right. Sometimes it's just easier to split either side. Uh, another method I'll quickly show you is you could actually highlight the time. In fact, I'll remove the split first. Let's go back a few steps. If I highlight the time here, and just tweak that highlight a bit. I'm actually going to split there with Shift S and it will split either side of that highlighted time. Then I can delete it and hit Escape to remove that time selection. So there's quite a few ways to do this. It's quite basic editing, but it's good practice and we don't want those breath noises. So let's keep listening. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. And at the end of again, I'll just trim that off there like that. Okay, so now if I zoom out with the down key, which you might remember is equivalent to this up and down keys are these ones, the plus and minus over here are equivalent to page up and page down for the vertical zoom. All right, so I'm pretty happy with my little edit there. The next step is to add a compressor onto that vocal track. So if I bring in the effects here, I'll type in comp and bring in that rear comp plugin. What I'm actually going to do is set a ratio of 4 to 1. So slide that over and it can be approximate or if you're a bit OCD you can just type in 4 and that will be set exactly at 4 to 1. I'd recommend you watch this Kenny Joyer explanation on compression which is really cool on the Reaper Mania channel. I'm going to hit rewind and play and I'm going to bring my threshold down so it's just coming into the speech a little. Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried out all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. Got that 4 to 1 ratio set. Now watch these numbers here. That number there will reflect the instantaneous value of gain reduction, the amount of compression going on. And this number here will be the maximum number. Uh, it will update as things get more. So let, let's watch this. Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried out all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. So you see uh, the most gain reduction was 3.2 decibels. That's not too bad. Um, I wouldn't want to compress it so heavily that there's much more than that going on. If I hit play without auto makeup gain, Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried out all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. This shows us that we could safely add 10 decibels of output gain. I could change that to 10 and effectively do the same as what the auto makeup gain is likely to do. So let's hit play here and see what happens. Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and you see I've, I've given an extra 10 decibel boost. But rather than me do that, I could actually just apply auto makeup gain and I believe it will probably have a similar effect. Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried out all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. That's brought it up to a safe level based on where I've got the threshold and the ratio set. So that's a pretty, uh, pretty easy way for you guys just to apply a bit of makeup gain without risking um, applying too much and clipping. We don't want our output to exceed zero, which is why I've got a limiter as well, just to, to make sure of that. We are actually going to add a limiter to our master bus, which is going to help make sure that the sum of our narration, sound effects and background music doesn't exceed a safe level. It'll also ensure that we can raise that volume so it's sort of at a broadcast level. Go on to the master effects and I'm typing in limit, bringing in this re-limit plugin, re-limit. 
Then I'll have a bit of a play here. Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came. Now I'm going to come back to that plugin again once I do have some sound effects and some uh, background music as well. And we'll tweak it there and we'll put a limit, a Luft's meter, loudness units full scale. We'll put that after the limiter plugin and we'll tweak the, the limiter to make sure Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. See, we, we might be applying around about three decibels of gain there, three or four, just depending on how much our music and our sound effects adds to this overall level. But as, as I said for now, let's just leave the limiter so it's not actually uh, applying any gain. Our next step is to download and import some sound effects. So um, let's have a listen to opportunities for sound effects. Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried out all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. I might go for some kind of thunder and rain sounds. So I'm going to jump over to the BBC sound effect archive. Okay, here I am at the BBC Sound Effects Archive that I just Googled, and I will just type in here rain. I like the idea of this one with some uh, sound of puddles on the ground. Um, you know, at the bottom of a downpipe or a water spout, you would perhaps have some uh, puddles and the dripping sounds on the ground. So I've, uh, I'm probably overthinking this, but I've chosen this file, download. If we want it to be really high quality, a WAV file will be a bit higher quality than mp3 so yeah let's do it it's only three minutes long I'll agree to their requirements since I'm just using it for educational purposes and it's coming down as a zip file um, obviously they compress their wave files by putting them in a zip container uh, the mp3 would be a bit str more straightforward so I'll actually just do that for now now that I've downloaded that rain I'm gonna bring it in water spout down came the rain, it's going to happen around about there. I'm going to go insert, media file. I've got track two selected, you might have noticed, and I'm bringing in the rain. All right, it's quite a long rain audio file. So I might go through and choose the best part. I probably don't want the fade in they've got. I want to do my own fade in, or I may like that. Let's have a listen. Down came the rain and washed poor out. Out came the sun. Now I might choose to pace this a little bit later now that I've got some nice little rain to listen to. Out came the sun. Now out came the sunshine. Split that rain with the S key. Delete that and throw in a little fade out. Out. Out came the sunshine and dried out all the rain. Okay, I'm happy with that sound effect, but it's a little loud. Let's have a listen. Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine. So that sound effect's too loud. I could go to this pot here. Pot is short for potentiometer, and in layman's terms, we call it a knob. But if you want to be fancy, you call it a pot or a potentiometer. You could move that, put it down a few decibels. Do you notice that fader on the mixer moving? You could actually use the fader, and you'll notice the pot moving. So. If you want to reset that pot to uh, a unity gain, which means no gain added or subtracted, you double click it. Same with the pot. All right, so let's just bring that down, I'd say around 10 decibels. Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine. Not bad, I think the fade out's a little abrupt to my ears though, so I might sort of um, tweak that a little there. And I still think it's a touch on the loud side. Let's go around 13-ish. Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried out all the rain. I'm happy enough there with that. So really this is to practice a uh, task, so I'm not going to overthink it. Uh, I'm not even going to search for any more sound effects. But I am just going to have a quick look for some background music so we can practice some other techniques. Okay, so I've come to the free music archive. And I'm going to browse. And I could just have a bit of a look through. I'm going to look at genres. 
and I'm happy with maybe a classical sound. Let's check it out. Let's choose this Ukrainian track here. I'm going to click download. I understand and agree that there's specific conditions to using this public domain music and certainly this educational use would fall into that. I'm going to save it and ensure that track 3 is selected and I'm going to try and place this track right at the beginning. I press W just then to take it to the start of the project. Insert media file and Ukraine. W again to rewind. Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Now I'm, I might just lower that music a little bit. I'm going to do the optional step of adding a sidechain compressor onto this musical track so it actually uh, compresses out of the way whenever my voice speaks. Uh, if you don't want to get into those details of sidechain compression, you just use the fader here and mix that in there a little bit. Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed poor Incy out. Out came the sunshine and dried out all the rain. So Incy Wincy Spider climbed up the spout again. And I'll stop it right before that minor chord. So I'll put a little fade out. There we go. We have our little audio book. So what I would then do is render that recording as an mp3. Firstly I should save, definitely save it. In fact I should have saved by now because I would have lost all of that if something had gone wrong like running out of battery power. Notice I am telling it to copy all media into the project directory and I'm actually creating a subdirectory specifically for this project. It keeps things a bit more organized when you do that guys. Save, you see it copying the media across and once that's saved that's when I'll render it. So saving it saves the project Rendering it will actually produce an mp3 file when I change this format um, called Prackbook and then when I render it I'll be able to share the mp3 file. You notice it came out with a LUFS of minus 18.1 so I would go into my limiter here and give it a 4 decibel boost, 4-ish that'll do. And if I were to re-render that now and overwrite the previous file you'll notice now that the LUFS level is around about that minus 13, 14 sort of level that we are looking for for a professional uh, production. All right, so uh, I will go into now the more advanced step of adding that sidechain compressor, but that's the basic video done. Well done, guys.